local government areas of Akwaibom State. It is also a component of the eight Anang-speaking local government areas in Akwaibom State with headquarters in Urayang. Ika was created on December 4, 1996 and is subdivided into three clans, Achan, Ito, and Uduru with a total of 78 villages. A local government area is bordered on the northwest by Okwa East Local Government Area of Abia State, to the southeast by Itmeku Local Government Area, and on the east by a Senudam Local Government Area of Akwaibom State. The local government area is blessed with human and material resources rich in agro allied products such as timber, palm trees, among others. The land and soil texture is rich in commercial and mechanized farming. Religiously, the people of Ika, predominantly Christians, are practically into trading, farming, art, and craft businesses. Politically, seasoned leaders have been at the helm of affairs in Ika local government area Comparatively, unlike other local government areas in the state, Ika has been neglected by the successive governments, mostly the present administration of Dikinudom Gabriel Emanuel as governor of Akwaibom. The government have lived in the habits of neglecting Ika villages by not providing basic amenities to the people. These, among others, are rage electricity, and water supply. The Etmeku Rainyang Abala Ibeme Obinwa Abia State Road is a federal road, but the road has remained a day trap truncating commercial and industrial transactions between Ika people and the neighboring communities. <laughs> So <laughs> The bad condition of the road has thwarted daily businesses and commercial activities of Ika residents. For instance, contract for Ikorakpanawa Abala Ibeme, Obinwa Road, which is 25 minutes drive to Abia State, was awarded by the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, but abandoned. The house of a former Minister of State for Environment and S. Wild State Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, APC, the late Dr. Ime Okubido, is situated on the road. My name is Edwis Oibudio. I'm from Ikolopanawa. Uh, um, the situation of a uh, road in the Kalu government is talking to write him about. So I'm happy to see you, you coming to hear from the people that are living here. So as one of the person that's living in this place, 
the battles here have uh, faced a lot of uh, difficulties. And I'm very good. If you have a job, I'm going to say, but I'm going to talk about it. I can't get a young girl. I'm going to say, so I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. So I'm going to say, then I will be a mass of ways. Say, I manage. Because I'm going to get a job. 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 So, a better America acquired from the government. A person who is no longer in Nigeria because uh, this other part of acquired state is not uh, known, it's not recognized. No um, government uh, uh, presence in this side of uh, acquired state, Ika, Kolokonawa, and the rest of the villages along the road. The road was one time uh, uh, only contract to LDDC, but up to now, nothing has been done there. So it's giving us a lot of uh, difficulties, but we can like it. But we can listen to my mother in one set to say, produce me, give it a kite, take a key, and your mother will come in with a song in them. So I'm going to make a song, and I'm going to go to one kind of So go on a couple of tight eighty. Go on, who can look and pop again for doing song in them, you don't need a woman to go on. I was thinking of me to cover. If you have that, I'm going to get my way from my own audio. So in some work, I'm going to me. So then when I was on getting tempted, now you might see travel to other parts of the government, to other local government. So I'm pleading. Uh, to the government to come in and assist us in the area of uh, road construction. Similarly, contract for Nsasari Koruko Esenudam, Ikorakmana wa Afiaito Ika Road, Nto Doite Azumini Aba Potakod Road, and Urua Eneni Korekong, which was awarded by the then governor, Senator Gosula Kwabiu, to Senyang Company Limited, a construction company of the elder brother to engineer Etidu Yang was since abandoned. I'm Israel George Paul. I'm a youth leader of Ntodete here in the Kalugu government area. I want to speak about this road, this abandoned road. This was this road was given since Akwabio was the as a governor of Akwaibum State. Then also this road was awarded since then and they abandoned this road right from then to today. Look at the road here. The road is automatically closed and people have been using this diversion, this little one here. Then this road is starting from Nsasak Junction down to Azumini across uh, Aba, even across uh, the road that is linking to River State that was awarded during Akpabio's regime by NDDC. And they started this job, when they start this job with all the people of Ika, we were so happy. We expect that the job, the job, the road will be delivered. But up to today, Sanyang, all the contractors, all of them, they just ran away. They don't even remember the road again. They don't even do anything about the road again. So now the people are suffering. The, 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 the people are suffering. The people of Ika are suffering. And this road is the only access road that we have that link us from Ika to Aba and River State. And the world this road ended at the Ikoro Sukbong, not even Ikoro Sukbong, just a, a little close to Ikoro Sukbong. And the whole place, the whole system, everybody are dying, no business, nothing is going on in the roads, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the community, in the local government. The, the, the students are sometimes, they, they fell inside water. They still fell, uh, in, in short, the people doesn't know what to do again because of the road. So I am pleading the, the government of this country, the state government, the NDDC to look after the people of Ica. Sometimes we were angry, we are angry about whether we are not from a quiet home state, we are not, whether we are not in a, a, a Nigeria. The road, there is no road in Ica. There is no light in Ica. That is why I am pleading, I am standing on behalf of the people of Ica to ask the government to plead with the government of Akwaibum State, the Nigeria at large, that they should come and assist us. Mama, 
The Ikorokmana one to Ituro Ikoridam Road is no longer motorable and accessible by the commuters. And you may get a tiny in it, Friday, Bantu, the Ikorokmana one. No one here, the Ikorokmana one. Regrettably, it is heart rending that the water borehole project at Ikorokmanawa, which was awarded by the Federal Minister of Water Resources during President Olujen Gunobasanjo's regime, which used to serve five villages, has been ill functioned for several years now. <laughs>
no successive administration ever made attempt to revamp the project, leading the people to self-help on rain and stream waters or borehole from the neighborhood. Mr. Edidiong von Silas, a citizen of Ikorokmanawa in a local government area, laments that the area has been sectionalized because of bad roads and erosion challenges. Uh, my name is uh, Edidiong von Silas. I'm an ordinary citizen of Ikorokmanawa in Ikaloku government of Akwaibom State. I really want to thank God that uh, we are alive this day you know, to see a regime of government that is about to end and another regime of government about to start. Talking about 2023. You know, we are a very vibrant class of people when it comes to activity. In fact, anybody that have visited it can knows that the people are commercial, minded people. Why? Because Ika is one of the local government that is bounded by Abia states in the east and then bounded by uh, Okwa east on the other side of the, the south. So Ika people are very industrious. But one of the challenges we have woken up to see is that Ika has been you know, subdivided into sections just because of bad roads. And does it mean that we don't have people in government that, uh, you know, at one time or the other uh, should have spoken for us? No, we have people. But we have come to discover that some of these politicians, they only come home, canvass for votes, and then after the election, all of them will either go to, you know, uh, Uyo to live, some will relocate to Abuja, some will live in Lagos or other cities. But they are indigents of this place and nobody speaks on behalf of Ika people. So over the years, Ika has been denied the basic infrastructure for development. If you look at the road that, you know, the, one of the major federal roads that connects Nsasa through Rainyang to Afiaito. That is a road that I am very much aware, which I am going to also, you know, uh, look for a publication, which I read, I, go, I bought that newspaper, that that road was awarded. And then the governor, in, uh, the person that was in government then was uh, His Excellency uh, Senator Goswil Akpabi. And to the best of my knowledge, that road was constructed from the other side of Esenudim up to Ikorosupan that bounded Esenudim and Ikaluku government. But between Ikorosupan to Rainyang through to uh, 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 Afiaitu, Ikoloku, was abandoned. And up to today, erosion has taken over that road. In fact, <coughs> before the, uh, the, the road was awarded, our people could still ride with bicycle, vehicles could still pass through the road until when the road was awarded. And then the people came and then just scattered the road down and now the road is no longer passable. So I want to thank God that uh, this is a time where campaign is on. For me, I am an ordinary citizen the way I have introduced myself earlier. I am neither for any political party I am just a concerned citizen that is asking for nothing much, just basic road and water and electricity. These are the things that uh, every good-minded person will desire in his community, in his local government. I am very much aware the rural electricity uh, project that was awarded to all the local governments Ikaon was awarded to somebody, but today we, did not, we don't know how that project has gone. So I want to plead with all the political aspirants. We have people coming from uh, YPP. We have somebody representing Labour Party. We have somebody representing PDP. We have somebody representing APC. And all these people are the people that will come to canvass for vote in Ika. I am saying that this time around, 
if you must get our votes, you must have us in mind. If you know you have solution to our problem, then you can come to ICA for campaign. And as you do that, then ICA people will back you up for whatever political position you are looking for. And then you will see you will have success. Apart from road and water problems, rural electrification is also a predicament to ICA people. The people have lived for years without electricity. Elder Friday Elijah Etuk, an indigent of Ikorokmanawa, discloses that for over 50 years he has never seen a flash of light in the area. My name is Elder Friday Elijah Etuk. I am an indigent of the Kaur Panama village in the Kalugu government area. By the special grace of God, we were able to go around the, the entire Kalugu government since morning. We have touched Atan, Ito, and Adoro to have statistics of all abandoned properties, roads, and infrastructure. Like we visited a a borehole water given to us by the Federal Ministry of Water Resources during the errand of a Chief Ulusegunu Obasenjo. And for a very many number of years, the water has not been working. So we have captured there. We moved down to Ikorok Panawan, into Itubudo Ikorim Road in which the road is not accessible. We have captured there. We went down to Uraine Nikorekung, a road that has been awarded to Sayan Limited. For a very many number of years, the road is not motorable. If we want to go from one clan to the other, we are passing through bush tract. We cannot access a federal road the only federal road we have in the Kaluku government, we are unable to access it. No electricity. Because of this road access, economic situation in the Kaluku government is too low. We cannot, if we are going to Aba, Ika is just about 25 minutes drive from Ika to Aba. Before we could get to Aba, it would take us a number of days because of bad roads. So we are asking pleading with the authorities to come and help us fix the road. Give like the, the wires you can see on the scripts. The wires are down. The poles are falling. We need help. It is something we cannot do by ourselves. Only things that we can do is during a sanitation we can clear the road. Now that is time for campaign. We are pleading with all the party concerned, BEP, DP, YPP, APC, NNPP, whatsoever party as far as you are a candidate. We are pleading with those candidates that will be coming to ICA for campaign for them to come and help us, not to give us a promise and fail promises because they have time without number telling us we are going to fix this road. I could remember when our governor comes in here sometimes ago, he promised us putting on this road, but he did not. I remember the, uh, the days uh, of Pabio's administration, they promised us, but we did not see. I can stand tall to say that I am about 50 something years now. I have never seen electricity, a bulb connected from Nepal in the Kalugu government. So please, be it federal agency or state agency or local government, we are pleading. As I'm talking, I'm not talking my personal word, I am talking on behalf of the community. As a grassroots, as somebody that has so many units to mobilize for a politician, I am asking that they should come to our aid. As I'm talking now, if anything happens, if somebody is sick, we do not have road to take that person to the hospital. We do not have road to convert our local communities to market. There is no road. The major problem we are having is that there is no road. The, the, the erosion have cut the entire Ito from Oduro 
the entire Ito from autumn. So we need help. And Ika people will be so glad and happy if we could see a single government that will come to our head. And I really want to believe that as Ika is concerned, we don't we don't like deceiving people. We believe in one word. Whatsoever we agree is what we will do. Any aspirant that will come out to deliver Ika from this problem, we are going to vote that aspirant, that candidate a mass. And this is the voice of Ika. And God is going to help us. Let this thing come to pass in Jesus' name. Indigents, including students, aged and residents alike, are calling on the federal, states, and local governments to come to their earth to ameliorate their continuous sufferings. The name of my school is Ika High School. In our road, there is no road for us to pass. As we are going to school now, we can't see road to pass. May you do efforts to make our road fine My name is Uduak Johnny Akpan from Afeni Korokuru here. So the way I'm seeing this our side, I'm not feeling fine because we are suffering. Just look at our road. From here now I reach Ikoruku. You just check out our road is not clear, which everywhere is not doing neat. The way we be like this now, our mind is not clear. So we're supposed to walk our road, make our road is clear so that when you drive vehicle or you drive Okada, you go feel fine. We just drive straight forward from from the ending, from the ending. Not you drive the corner, so place and so place. Understand? So what we need, may the just prepare our road for us. That's how I want to say it. This is federal road. This is federal road. so man we will get a if you book you to go to no go area so okay i'm thinking you mock the government it can buy back there i before before if they will bill you, the bill, bill, bill. Go for a couple of more, I will go. I can't get a back now, you know. So come back and more come and buy a little mini politician and a little silly young girl. If I don't know, can you write a government? Nicolo Kila Tarina Mussolini, no less. There's always such a Kumana, my Kiku is in Kumana. Can you get it out? Get it out. Governments cannot do it alone. It will be a welcome development for individuals corporate organizations to respond swiftly to the yearnings of the people of a Kaluku government area by intervening on live torsion and meaningful projects in Ika community. The well-to-do Ika indigents should do something in Ika. Ajenika. Adejeneka.